which formulates and says we want to be here and we don't want to be here. India is an important market for us. It's not good. Europe possibly is good. So from this point of view, very well said, very good well gentlemen. South Africa for who? All it will be. And we are waiting to receive you. From my side, one of the key things that we're also focusing on in South Africa tourism is making sure that our e-visa, as it is right now, is in the trial and we can literally apply for an e-visa as we talk. I want to be reiterate, it's in the process of in trial and we are testing it. Visas on a normal day take on a normal platform when we do the old platform, it takes five days to issue. Key for us in terms of, in terms of delivering South Africa, Indians to South Africa is a connectivity issue. If you go into the room of our services, it's for the first time the three airlines in our show that are participating. Air Special, strategic partner to us. They bring us affordability. We've got Qatar, strategic, they bring us affordability. We're engaging us to make sure that we we live by our promise to say that South Africa is affordable and is accessible. We've got Ethiopian Airlines, which has just given us a new um, 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 travel um, schedule. Very excited. We are talking to Emirates. We've had some strategic relationships with Emirates. These partners and Rwanda and Kenya areas are our key partners. Are they? We are going to do massive collaboration with them because what is the reason we want to do that? We want to make South Africa affordable. We are seeking from the South Africa, from the Indian, um, um, connectivity partners, airline partners, that we make South Africa affordable with a cost per system. We can't have um, flights starting at 80,000 rupees. It, it's just not fair for the consumer. It's not fair for the Indian policy trade because it means that they cannot sell South Africa. So for me, it was very important in making sure that our connectivity partners are working hand in hand and by our side with us to make sure that South Africa is affordable. And um, the last one for us is the, is the COVID protocol. We are the first country to have gone in by the 28th of December last year, 2021, to remove all personal distance of travel. We need a 32 hour um, a PCR test. We need to make sure that you sanitize. We need to make sure that you are uh, adhere to all protocols. But we have not received a label that says at 10 o'clock your stores are closed or at 11 o'clock or you have to do X, Y, and Z. We've been very open and transparent in terms of managing our protocols. We've got broadcast protocols from every single entity, from the minute you get into the airline, to the South African airport, international airport, to the restaurants, to the hotels. You cannot offer, you cannot, and that's very even relaxed. In the mall, I've seen certain countries where when you get into a mall, you need to produce a copy of it. South Africa, all you need to do is make sure that you've got your mask on. When you go into a mall or in a shop or in a restaurant, we are so understanding that we, we, we collaborate with community, with government, and with private sector. You walk into a mall in South Africa, all you have to do is mark. You don't have to be producing a COVID test or a um, or showcase or a certificate that you're vaccinated. We're making it so easy. 